everybody, Tiger Tanaka here, and I'm narrating a Pokemon Fire Red video. What is this madness? Anyway, in the last part of Fire Red, he rode all the way through Cycling Road and got to Fuchsia City. This time, we're going to be taking a detour and fight more trainers along a huge route. Damn it. Keep forgetting which button is my select button. Ah, forget it. I was gonna get on my bike, but whatever. Um, I wonder if I can speed this up. Yep. Almost went right past this guy's house. You walk in here, this guy will give you a super rod. Always found it stupid you can get the super rod before the good rod. And he wants us to catch a big magic arp. Screw you! Got better things to do than catch magic arp. Then why are you here? Rocker Luca! Well, I guess that explains why he's here. He can completely destroy all the fishermen here. Screech? How can a ball screech at me? Electrode. Spark. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's what you get. Hooray for speeding up. Okay. Venusaur, actually. Doug Trio needs to level up first. Venusaur will be next. Yes, I'd like to cut the tree down. Why else would I click on it? I'm searching for a moonstone. Have you found one? I found like two or three in Mount Moon alone. Justin. Justin Beaver sent out Nidoran Mail. It's gonna die in one hit. It's probably about how Justin Beaver would train Pokemon. Every one of his Pokemon would just be one hit killed. Six. Oh, come on, Doug Trio. Don't start that up again. See, he even complains like Justin Beaver. Ow! That didn't feel good. Oh, what a pansy. And now I'm probably gonna get hate comments as long as this video exists. What's catching? You never know what you could catch. In the Pokemon world, you do know. Because all the Pokemon stay in... Why do you have Magikarp? Seriously. We're past the halfway point of the game and you still have Magikarp? Why? Speed up button for the win. I found Carbos in a cave once while I was spelunking. I just found an iron. What a coincidence. Galeen. Water sport, really? I'm gonna cut your horn off. Evil Galeen. Everything's evil now. Bullywag! I always thought Poliwrath to be one of the most unoriginal Pokemon compared to its previous evolution. All Poliwrath is is a pissed off Poliwhirl. That's it. I mean, it 
has muscles, but really that's the best I could come up with for an evolution of Poliwhirl. Pissed off Poliwhirl. Think about it. I mean, in the second generation, they had it turn into a frog. I think that'd be better. Ah, crap. I forgot this guy's bird Pokemon. Sebastian reminds me of one of my friends. Anyway. Pidgey must die. Gust, really? I did 18 damage and it was super effective. I did 8 and I missed. Why, Venusaur? Why must you miss with such sharp leaves? Pidgeotto! If only he had a Pidgeot. I never understood why people think that Pidgeot's name is Pidget. Or pronounced Pidget. The first five letters of all their names are spelled the same, so why would the pronunciation of them change? Like Pidgeot's name is just Pidgeotto without the last two letters. I'm told I'm good for a kid. Yeah, I just never understood that. Another contradictory pronunciation, is it Rattata or Rattata? Not even the anime can make up its mind half the time. That truck had a picture of a Pidgeot on it. Pidgeot all evolved into Pidgeot. Make up your mind. Blow 69. Pretty much forced that joke. Meow. Speed up button makes everything easier. I didn't even have to see what she said, but not like it really matters. That sounds suggestive. Lola. It's a name you don't hear too much. Pikachu. Go Dug Trio. Are you finally getting over your six street Dug Trio? Looks like it. I'm a beast, huh? I'll take that as a compliment. Well, that doesn't sound newbie at all. Sheila. And of course she has a Clefairy, just like every other girl trainer does. Wow. Not only did she metronome a magnitude, she metronomed a magnitude 6. What the hell? Yeah, real smart to use Growl on a special attacker. It's over already? Doesn't help that you're completely stupid in that battle. Wow, your badges are too cool. Uh, tell that to the people who made the badges. Polywag. Bite it. Rain dance. That's one thing I'm glad they fixed in black and white. They don't show the animation for the weather at the end of every turn. 
just makes the battle unnecessarily longer. My cute Pokemon wish to make your acquaintance. My Pokemon wish to beat the living crap out of them. Pidgey! Great, more generic stuff. And a Meow, even more generic. Another Pidgey! Pidgeotto! That was like the most generic team ever. Good going, you totally won. Cause I had better Pokemon than you. I didn't mean to hit B. Or X as it is on my keyboard. Uh, if I remember right, yep, PP up right there. That sign actually tells you about it. It's like, hey, there's a hidden item on the other side of this post. I'm not going to lose, not when the wind's blowing my way. I'm not going to say anything about that. Now well, let's just bite it. Yay, more generic Pokemon. Why? The wind turned. Sure, whatever you say. What are you looking at? Your pink mohawk. That suddenly turned brown. Coffer. Damn it, didn't kill it. Another coughing. You'd think a flamethrower would cause a coughing to explode no matter what. And another coughing. Well, that sucks. The only Pokemon that isn't level 35 are Snorlax and Dugtrio. Neither of them can do anything at the moment. Oh, come on! Fine, I'll send something else out. Don't fail this time, Vaporeon. Thank you. Dang, stripped gears. Um... I think Snorlax is level 34. Yeah, it is. We're gonna switch it to the front, and we're gonna heal. Always hate those cutscenes in this game. Like, oh, you're using an item. Let's have a random cutscene. I didn't mean to use that. I just realized I went right past my antidotes. Probably gonna have one more battle, and that'll probably be it for the video. You need to use TMs to teach good moves to Pokemon. So true. But you also need to breed Pokemon to do that. Sometimes that gives even better results. Too bad I never got into breeding Pokemon. Otherwise I'd probably be doing the competitive battling scene. Try attack And that did what? 20 damage? Pidgeotto! Body slam from a thousand pound tub of lard. Carter, not good enough quite yet. And we are going to end off on that note. So next time on Pokemon Fire Red, we will continue this long route and probably start to explore Fuchsia City. See you guys then.